Hey guys, Eric here, and in today's guest video, we're going to be taking a look at the Supergirl Premium Format by Sideshow Collectibles, as well as doing a side-by-side -side comparison to the older Premium Format, so stay tuned after the review. I was shockingly surprised the differences between the two of them. Alright, so here she is, Supergirl. Uh, inspired by the artwork of Art Germ, for anyone who doesn't know who Art Germ is, he's better known as Stanley Lau. Uh, he's a comic book cover artist. He's been around forever, but he's most recently gained a lot of popularity over the last year or two, uh, doing a lot of work for Marvel and for DC. Last year, he worked steadily on two DC titles, creating numerous covers for both Catwoman and Supergirl. He's also worked with Sideshow in the past on statues, some of the original pieces such as the Harley Quinn Premium Format, the Batgirl Premium Format, and the Poison Ivy Premium Format, just to name a few. So if you never heard of Art Germ, I definitely recommend checking him out. He's an amazing artist. So taking a look at the statue, you have Supergirl soaring over a cloud base, looking powerful yet elegant at the same time with the subtle touch of her reaching out for the dove. The dove is a switch out, so if you want a more powerful pose, you can swap out the dove for a closed fist. So the dove and closed fist is one swap out, which is included in the collector's edition. If you purchase the exclusive edition, you get another swap out, which includes an extra short hair portrait. Looking at the long hair portrait, she has a very young face. In fact, her entire figure is on the smaller side for a more younger female frame. I was a little worried about the portrait looking at online pictures, but in person it turned out very well. It matches up with the prototype, if not better. One minor gripe would be the hair. It's a little simple looking compared to other female premium formats. I like when Sideshow adds more details with more hair strands, but as mentioned it's a minor complaint and still looks great. The lips have a nice pink gloss. The eyes are heavy on eyeshadow, lots of blue shading. In fact, the blue eyeshadow, especially with the short hair exclusive, reminds me a lot of the Captain Marvel statue, which is also an amazing portrait. With the short hair, you have a more modern look. The suit in general is a modern look. The lines in the suit accentuate the flow and the sculpt of the statue. Very New 52, which I'm a huge fan of, the comics. The base came out amazing. I don't have any statues with the color white, so this adds a really nice contrast to my collection. The addition of the doves is a nice touch, one on the base and another on her hand. Very accurate to Art Germ's original concept. The doves have nice details. They feel like a, a plastic resin material, which is fine for a smaller piece. It gives the wings some flexibility from breaking. It's a simple statue to put together for an assembly video. You can check out Sideshow's YouTube channel. They do unboxing videos, but basically you have the base, which is one piece. You have the dove, which keys into the base. Um, her body, which is connected to part of a cloud, which also keys into the base. Her hand is another piece. Her other hand with the fist, you could swap out for holding a dove. Her portrait. This is the collector's edition. You have another swap out portrait if you purchase the exclusive edition. It's uh, her with short hair. Uh, then you have the cape and that's it. The magnets are fairly strong. Uh, the paint lines are super clean on the piece I received. Uh, no issues at all. The paint, the paint really needs to be compared to the older premium format. Taking a look at the two statues side by side. This was the original premium format. Released not too long ago, actually. Uh, also inspired by Art Germ's artwork. Starting at the face, the new PF has better skin tones to the point it makes the old PF look terrible. I was a big fan of the old PF and still am to a certain degree, but the new PF destroys it in almost every category. Looking at the paint, the new PF has light skin tones, but it also adds hints of pinkish reds, giving it more lifelike flesh tones. You wouldn't notice this unless you had the two side by side, but 
The old PF looks more flat, almost like a, a grayish, greenish tint, very zombie-like, like the blood was drained out of her. Going down to the blue suit, the newer PF has a few different shades of blue going on, some really nice shading. The old PF has less shading and uses more of a, a cobalt blue for the main contrast. Not terrible, but not as good. The reds are pretty much identical throughout both statues in coloring and shading. Uh, not much of a difference. The S symbol looks better on the newer PF. The red of the S has more of a metallic look where the old PF is flat in vibrancy. The hands and legs again have better coloring on the new PF. Better shading, better details, and a, a better paint app. Looking at the belts, the newer PF uses gold, which in my opinion looks better than the yellow of the older PF. But both are accurate to the style of the uniform. In fact, every criticism of the older PF is true to its style. It's an older comic book version of Supergirl, so the flat colors and simplistic design is still true to the character. I'm just more of a fan of the modern style. The cape's better material on the newer PF. I really enjoyed owning the older PF, but I always hated the thin, silky cape Sideshow supplied. Both are fabric capes with posable wires, but the newer PF feels and looks better. The bases. I have no complaints on the old PF. I like the Meteor Rock. It has a nice hint of purple hues to it. Streaky the Cat came out really nice, but I prefer the newer PF. I'm a fan of bigger bases and really like having white added to my collection. They did a nice job. Not sure if the camera picks it up, but there's shades of gray as well as hints of blue. So if I had to choose between the two, I would pick the newer premium format. Uh, for me, she has better details. The colors are better. I like the more modern style. Not to say that the older premium format is terrible. Uh, she has her place. Uh, she's based off the older comics of Supergirl. So if you're a fan of that time period of Supergirl, this might be the better option for you. Uh, she still has an amazing sculpt and the pinup museum pose looks fantastic. It's two different generations of the character. You have the newer premium format. If you haven't noticed, it's a lot smaller looking. It's a smaller frame. She's a younger looking girl compared to the older premium format where it's a more mature looking female. Um, in my family, I have a young daughter, so we're more used to the younger looking Supergirl. So this is the one that I'm going to pick to you know, fit my collection. Uh, either way, they're both great options. If you're a fan of Supergirl, if you're a fan of Art Germ, I highly recommend picking up either one. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time.